A convertory page builder is where your funnel comes alive. This is where you'll edit, preview and publish your pages. You'll find articles that explore all the features listed here in the page builder section of our help site, but for now, here's a quick tour. In the top bar, you'll find the hair logo. Click here to return to the dashboard. Your published status, which will change from not published yet to published when your page is live. And the desktop and mobile switcher. Click here to switch between desktop and mobile view. In the top toolbar, you'll find the undo and redo buttons. Page info, click here to set page properties such as custom CSS, page background and meta info. Actions, which you can use to set your page triggers and behaviours. Layers, which work great with triggers and behaviours. Forms, so you can configure your form to connect its services. Product, so you can choose the product your page will sell. The font manager, where you can curate all your favourite Google fonts. And display. Here you can toggle the element outlines and snap grids. Don't worry, they'll only show in the page builder, not on your published page. And over here we have preview, save and publish. Use these to save your work often and preview the live version. So when an element is selected, the quick actions toolbar gives you shortcuts to everything you need. You have the selection tools, so you can clear or delete elements here. Position tools, full width, center align, move forward or center back. Visibility tools, where you can toggle if an element shows on desktop or mobile or starts hidden. And clone tools, where you can clone an element or clone to another layer or page. The element properties is where you can set all individual element settings, including borders, background and links. When you click to type inside an, a text element, instead of simply selecting it, the quick access toolbar will be replaced with a text toolbar. Here you'll find all your usual font tools where you can choose your font, size and colour, your formatting tools including bold, underline, italic and alignment, and other text tools including hyperlink, remove link and bulleted list. In the More Tools drop-down, we have the Paragraph or Heading Styles, Subscript, Superscript and Strike Through Font Weight and Line Height. And this button lets you choose seamlessly between quick actions or text. Now this is the element tray, and you can click here to add elements to your page. Text element adds a text box to your page. The image element opens the media gallery where you can upload organized folders or click on an image to add it to the page. Form elements lets you add a text box submit or credit card input to your page. The panel element generates a shaded rectangle you can use to group your elements and everything, in, everything positioned within the panel will move with it. Separator elements include horizontal and vertical lines. In media, you can choose from your own self-hosted video or a YouTube embed. You can also add a countdown timer, an HTML element, so that's for iframes or even a table, and a Facebook comments widget. The editing area is called a canvas, and this is where you'll drag elements to create your page. It's WYSIWYG, so what it looks like in the editor is exactly how it will look to your viewers. These aqua guidelines show the area that will be displayed on a standard 900 pixel resolution. And when you have element outlines turned on via the display menu, these pink lines will show you exactly where your elements are on the page for easier positioning. If you get stuck, just click on the help icon the question mark in the lower left hand corner of the page to be taken into the help docs.